So I hear a lot of things that you would like to have happen, and that's really good. But I want to say a couple of words uh, about expectations versus intention. Um, and I think that we all know this, but I want to, to bring this up anyways. Expectations is when we want something and we were expecting it to happen a certain way. And we expect it so hard that we hold on to this, this result that we want. And most often because of that, we have a predefined idea of how it will happen. And this is because the mind has a little bit more control over this. And we are very identified with this idea of how things will happen and what will come out of it. But for this journey, for any journey, what I've noticed myself, particularly in the last couple of months, is that expectations can be really pain painful to hold on to. And it can also be the reasons that you are keeping your blocks alive, that you are in a way resisting change to happen because you won't happen to change so much. And it's draining energy and it makes you tired and that makes you want to change even more. And it's a, it's a negative spiral. So I think for this journey now, Let's try to release whatever expectations we have, whatever results we want to happen, and just let whatever happens happen. And with that said, we, I will still ask you to set an intention, an intention being a asking or a wish to the universe, to your own creative abilities and your ability to attract what you want and asking but it stops at asking it stops at this heartfelt wish to have something happen for another reality for something to be healed and the mind is let to rest in the place of the heart instead so that it does not follow all these thoughts even though it will inevitably happen a couple of times. It does not hold on to all of these ideas of how things will happen. And that, that particular result is the only resu result that is valid for you. But the intention stops at you wishing for something to happen. <laughs>